Your car's cooling system is the silent guardian of your engine, and it's more fragile than you think. One mistake, one neglected detail, and it could lead to catastrophic overheating, warped heads, or a seized engine. Mechanics won't tell you this, but today you'll learn exactly how to make your cooling system last forever. Yes, forever, without spending thousands. From antifreeze chemistry to airflow physics, we're diving deep. And if you think flushing your coolant once in a while is enough, think again. Stay until the end. The final tip is something 99% of drivers overlook, and it's destroying their engines in slow motion. 1. Understand how the cooling system actually works. Before we can make it last, you have to understand what it does. The cooling system regulates your engine temperature. It absorbs heat from combustion through the engine block, moves it via coolant, and dumps it through the radiator. It includes the radiator, water pump, thermostat, heater core, hoses, radiator cap, reservoir tank, and the coolant itself. If one piece fails, the system collapses. Psychologically, most drivers treat it like magic. They don't know what it does until steam pours out on the highway. Understanding the system helps you protect it with precision. 2. Use the right coolant. Always. This is the biggest mistake drivers make. Not all coolant is the same. There are different formulations, IAT, OAT, HOAT, PHOAT, and more. Each is chemically tailored to work with specific metals and components. Using the wrong type causes corrosion, electrolysis, and gasket failure. Read your owner's manual. Use only the manufacturer's specified coolant. And never mix different types. It creates a sludge that ruins your engine. 3. Change coolant. Based on chemistry, not just time. Most people flush coolant every 5 years or 100,000 miles. But that's not always accurate. If you drive in stop-and-go traffic, tow heavy loads, or live in extreme climates, your coolant breaks down faster. Use test strips to check pH and corrosion inhibitors. If they're out of spec, flush it, no matter what the mileage says. Prolonging old coolant is like asking expired milk to nourish you. Fourth, upgrade to a high-quality radiator cap. Your radiator cap does more than seal the system. It maintains pressure, usually 13 to 16 PSI, to raise the coolant's boiling point. If it fails, coolant boils early and your engine overheats. Cheap caps can stick, leak, or misread pressure. Upgrade to an OEM or heavy-duty unit with a spring-loaded valve and replace it every five years, even if it looks fine. Five, replace the thermostat preventively. Thermostats regulate coolant flow. If they stick closed, your engine overheats. If they stick open, it runs too cold. Either condition leads to inefficiency, poor combustion, and engine wear. Replace the thermostat every 60,000 to 100,000 miles, or sooner, if you're replacing the water pump or coolant. Use OEM, or high-performance units rated for your engine's temperature range. 6. Use distilled water, not tap water. When mixing 50-50 coolant, always use distilled water. Tap water contains minerals that create scale, clogs, and electrolysis. Over time, they destroy your heater core and radiator. Distilled water prevents mineral buildup and keeps the system clean. It costs less than $2 a gallon. And it saves you thousands. 7. Watch the overflow reservoir. It tells a story. That little plastic bottle beside your radiator? It's not just a container. It's a diagnostic tool. Check it weekly. If the level fluctuates wildly, drops suddenly, or has oily residue, something's wrong. It could indicate a leak, a blown head gasket, or a failing water pump. Early signs equals early intervention. Don't ignore your reservoir. 8. Burp the system. After every coolant service, air pockets in the system are deadly. They prevent coolant flow and create hot spots. After every coolant refill, you must bleed or burp the system. Use a spill-free funnel, run the engine with the heater on, watch for bubbles, top off until they disappear. Some engines have bleed screws, use them. Never assume the system is full until you've verified. 9. Monitor the temperature gauge religiously. That little needle isn't just for show. Watch it, every drive, every time. If it ever climbs above normal, stop immediately. Engines can go from a little hot to completely destroyed in less than two minutes. And never remove the radiator cap while the engine is hot. 10. Replace coolant hoses before they burst. 
Radiator hoses degrade from the inside out. Even if they look okay, they may be soft, oil-soaked, or ballooning underneath. Check for cracks, squishiness, or bulges. Replace every five years or 60,000 miles. Use OEM or silicone reinforced hoses. Cheap hoses fail early and violently. 11. Inspect the heater core. Not just for heat. Your heater core is part of the cooling loop. If it clogs or leaks, it affects flow. That raises engine temps. Check for fogged windows, sweet smells, or damp carpets. These are signs of heater core failure. Don't ignore heating issues. They're cooling issues in disguise. Twelfth, upgrade your radiator fans. If you live in a hot climate or tow heavy loads, your factory fan may not cut it. Upgrade to a higher CFM electric fan or dual fan setup. And always ensure your fan clutch on older vehicles engages properly. An overheating engine at idle often points to a weak fan. 13. Install a coolant temperature gauge with alarm. Factory gauges are damped. They don't show real-time spikes. Install an aftermarket digital gauge with an audible alarm. It alerts you to sudden rises, giving you time to pull over before disaster strikes. Knowledge equals reaction equals protection. 14. Use coolant additives wisely. Additives like Redline Water Wetter or Royal Purple Ice improve heat transfer and reduce temps. They also reduce surface tension, which prevents localized boiling in hot spots, but only use them with compatible coolant. Always follow mixing ratios. Additives won't fix neglect, but they enhance an already healthy system. 15. Flush the radiator the right way. Don't just drain and fill. That leaves old coolant and contaminants behind. Use a cooling system flush tool or back flush kit. Flush until the water runs clear, then refill with correct mix. A clean radiator equals efficient cooling. 16. Replace the water pump on schedule or sooner. Water pumps wear out. Their bearings fail, seals leak, blades corrode. Don't wait for it to go bad. Replace at 100,000 miles or sooner if you hear squealing, see coolant loss, or feel vibration. Always replace it when doing a timing belt. It's already exposed. Save labor. 17. Install a lower temperature thermostat, if safe. Some performance vehicles benefit from a lower temp thermostat. It opens sooner, runs cooler, and reduces heat stress. But don't go too low. You want full combustion efficiency. Check your engine's tuning and emission systems before changing. 18. Avoid using stop leak, unless it's an emergency. Stop leak clogs small leaks and small passages. It can gum up heater cores, sensors, and narrow coolant paths. Use only as a temporary emergency measure. Plan to flush the system afterward. Prevention beats plugging. 19. Don't ignore radiator fins. Those thin metal fins dissipate heat. If they're bent or clogged with bugs, cooling suffers. Clean them gently with a hose, never a pressure washer. Use a fin comb to straighten them. Airflow is everything. Devajati Park Smart, Shade Save Systems. High ambient temps heat soak your entire engine bay. Park in shade or use a reflective windshield shade. Every degree counts. Cooler starts equals less coolant stress. 21, drive conservatively on hot days. Avoid full throttle. Use lower gears for better fan and pump speeds. Turn off AC on steep grades to reduce thermal load. Use your heater in emergencies to pull heat from the engine. 22. Know the signs of impending failure. Watch for steam, high temp gauge, coolant smell, coolant on the ground, heater blowing cold. Don't wait. Shut off the engine. Tow if needed. Early shutdown can save the block. 23rd, use a coolant filter on diesels and HD trucks. Some heavy-duty vehicles allow for coolant filters. These trap casting sand, rust, and particulates. Clean coolant equals longer-lasting pump, radiator, and seals. If your system supports it, install one. 24. Consider aluminum or copper radiators. Upgrading your radiator gives better heat dissipation. Aluminum is lightweight and efficient. Copper slash brass offers superior heat exchange. More rows, thicker cores, and larger surface area equals lower temperatures. 25. Maintain your engine. Because heat comes from within. 
bad spark plugs, lean air slash fuel mixtures, detonation, low oil, slipping belts, all increase combustion heat. A healthy engine creates manageable heat. A sick one overwhelms the system. Fix what's upstream to protect what's downstream. So there you have it. 25 proven expert-backed strategies to make your cooling system last forever. These aren't myths. These are hard-earned lessons from race teams, fleet managers, and master mechanics. Cooling system failure is one of the top reasons cars end up in junkyards, but your car doesn't have to be one of them. Now, let's hear from you. Have you ever had an overheating disaster, a blown head gasket, or maybe you hit 250,000 miles with zero cooling issues? Drop your story in the comments and let's build a guide from real drivers, for real drivers. If this video taught you something new, smash that like button and subscribe. We've got more under the hood secrets coming, the kind mechanics don't usually share. Remember, heat kills engines, but knowledge keeps them alive.